Hey Simmers, this is Sims Free Play Design Heaven here and I'm about to take you through a walkthrough or a visual tour of um, my remodeling of the Teen Idol lot. So you can see it right here. I purchased the Teen Idol house and then I not completely redid it, but a lot of it I did change. So I'm going to show you the house itself um, and also obviously and then the changes that I've made inside. So let's have a look. Alrighty. Okay, so as you can see, if you have the Teen Idol Mansion already, you can see it's actually it's quite different from the get-go. The colour scheme and everything has been changed. I changed the colour of the pool outside. Um, and with the patios and the balconies and all the different um, additives that this new update is, has brought, I've changed that as well. So it's super exciting in my mind. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is just take you through um, just my process, I guess, in, in what I wanted to do to change, change this up a little bit. So when I bought the Teen Idol Mansion, I really did love it but I just thought the design itself wasn't me a lot I've every house that I've bought um I always change it because you know you know you don't buy a house that's fully furnished in real life and then just leave it the same you always put your mark on it so I want to do the same as that when I buy um houses that are kind of already already pre-planned out for me so I liked the layout of the downstairs so I kept it with the entryway but I just put that little fountain there I put in um lifts instead of stairs because I thought lifts were just you know if you I mean, if you're a teen idol and you've got all that money, why not, you know, put a lift in because, you know, you're just so fabulous and you've got so much money. So, of course, you'd want to have a lift. <laughs> so, that's why I put the lift in there. Um, I've got – so, I left the office the same – in the same place, but I made the entryway just on the side here from the, uh, the actual lounge room. My idea is that the parents live with the teen idol and they're, like, the managers. So, they're – I'm thinking the mum is the manager. So, she's, like, a momager, like, you know – I don't know if you guys know Keeping Up With The Kardashians, but, you know, Kris Jenner is, is the manager. I can't believe I'm talking about Kardashians, but that's sort of like the idea behind this crazy famous family. So that's that's why I've put this office here. So it's quite light. It's it's almost, it's not feminine, but it's not a, it's not as masculine as what the, this study was before in the old version. Um, you can see that, you know, there's a couple of screens in there. There's a book place. There's a, there's a fireplace to make it seem a little bit fancy and a bit grand as well. Um, but nothing too special again. Then what I've got here is the lounge room. So the lounge room is just pretty simple, very white. The idea behind this is if, you know, they're previewing a music video, you get all your friends over, you, you know, everyone fits on the couch, you all kind of sit there, enjoy it, love and life, obviously because you're famous, everyone wants to be famous. Um, I've also used the kitchen cabinets up here because they, they the wood works in and I also – love using kitchen cabinets in other places in the house and I think this kind of like I've seen cab cabinets like this in lounge rooms as well so I think it actually works really well um behind here so the doorway is just here so it's kind of snuck um snuck in there but I've got a little bathroom here um I've put the, the box planters inside as well I really kind of I like using outdoor plants inside I think they work really well with that sink. So that's, you know, nothing too special. I've kept the dining room pretty similar to what it was. I've changed the um, the size of the table. But other than that, it is just almost a replica of what it was before. Except I put the Latin wallpaper on there because I kind of thought it gave it a really nice pop. And I like the fact that it's like blue and white and, and black. And then there's that little bit of terracotta -y orange in there as well, which is kind of then followed through into, into the kitchen. So the kitchen itself is very very similar I've kind of moved the space up a little bit so I've re rearranged the kitchen only slightly but I loved the kitchen that um, this house came with I thought it was so cool I love how there's like the middle island with the television on there and that gave me the idea to put the TV in a, in a kitchen and I have um, ever since now I've, I've got a lot of TVs in my kitchen because I just thought the idea of sort of having a laptop and watch you know watching a recipe while you're cooking and or you know even you know watching some sort of television while you're cooking is awesome or playing music through the TV. Um, you, I don't know if you can tell, but I really like cooking. So <laughs> kitchens are really important to me. Um, but yeah, so that's the kitchen. The kitchen has an access to the patio and then so does the lounge room on the side here. So I've got the patio here, which I love. My idea with this patio is that it's actually raised. So there would be steps down to the pool area, even though technically there's not in here. But in my mind, the patio is raised. Oh, goodness. Whoops. Um, the patio is raised so it's got the barbecue out there I've got the Latin furniture um in here out here as well as well as the new furniture that came with the update which was really exciting love this furniture um 
And then I'm going to turn around in the pool area. So this pool was already there. It was already made by the Teen Idol lot. A lot of people ask me about the pool um, on Instagram. So they say, how do you make pools like that? So this pool here is actually, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pools all joined together. So I don't know if you can see here, but that this rectangle here would have been a pool. Then that rectangle there would have been a pool. And that one on top of that would have been a pool. And if you connect them together, they actually join up to be one single pool which is so cool um one day I'll do a, a video to show you exactly how that's done so that in case you have any other questions but in the meantime um enjoy this one here looking at this pool I did extend it a little bit it wasn't even which was so weird in my mind that they made this like pre-arranged house and the pool itself wasn't even so I just extended it on this side of the um of the pool a little bit because I'm all about some um, symmetry and you can kind of tell that in my designs I think you know balance is a really important thing within a house so which sounds so funny and so silly but I'm just anal like that I just want it to make it look really pretty and I think if if something is balanced and if it looks even on both sides I think it's just more visually appe appeasing and it just it's kind of it's really appealing to look at beautiful okay so what what we're going to do now is go up to the next level so I didn't change too much with this level um the bedrooms themselves are actually very similar I've just kind of changed the floor and the walls of those those two it was really hard to kind of fit in the um before the update because I changed this house again when the update came but it was really hard to figure out how to get the lifts in there because as you can see um the doorways that you know obviously they're right against the wall so to try and get into this pink bedroom here and this um you know the grown-up bedroom here was really tough I don't know if that makes sense but but thank God for this update because now it doesn't really matter and you can put doorways anywhere, which I love so much. Um, this bedroom in here, pretty much the same as what it was. Just put a TV and a, um, a sound system in there. They've got a, sh a shared bathroom, which I really love the idea of a shared bathroom. Um, you know, you'd have to make sure you lock it from the other side so that, you know, if you're in there having a shower, your brother doesn't come in and have a shower with you. That'd be really super awkward. <laughs> then this one here is um, to the girls' room, which I love as well I love this bed I'm just a sucker for pink so it's really cool and I love the the round pillows on there as well and then she's also got a tv in there and a sound system so she can listen to her own music and watch her own video clips which is really cool and then if we go across, there's the parents' room. And I went for a tile in the parents' room, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I thought it was really, like, sleek. It, and it looked, um, yeah, it kind of fit in with, with the, the vibe of the parents' room. They also have their own little balcony there with some new chairs. I love these chairs and table. I think it just reminds me of Paris so much. If any of you guys have ever been to Paris, these chairs are everywhere. So, yeah, it's a lot of love for those chairs. Then we've got, so we've got the walk-in robe here, which has got, you know, your jewellery box. And, you know, parents are messy as well so that's why I've put a pile of clothes there because totally my parents have clothes all over their room so I didn't want it to seem like only teenagers are messy um and then if you walk down this little corridor here you can go into the bathroom where they have two um two baths there so it's it's very fancy and then two showers and then the two basins and the toilet there so all the same um tones with the wall as well it's just kind of like the real beigey and the black and um yeah just just very um very sort of yeah fancy and up, upper class that's kind of what it is so these these are people who have made it rich from their children so they you know they've decorated their house very luxuriously um so we'll go up a level so this is my favorite level this is basically the best part of this level um the, of this house I should say so what we'll, we'll go through first is just the entranceway so it's just you know a little bit of bean bags we've got um you know the um dispenser there so you can buy like you know chips or if you're you know, thirsty and stuff like that for when you're in your recording session then there are toilets there so there's a female and a male toilet and you can see that the female and the male toilet have different color walls and floors um you know in accordance to gender then if you go in here and our sim is she's practicing her singing right now good on her you know obviously <laughs> she wants to be famous one day um this is the um practice room so when they you know get ready for their gigs and stuff like that and um yeah this band rehearsal is probably in this room and it's got a beautiful view so it's like sort of like uh fosters creativity in this room which is really really cool and then if you go out here, there's a little balcony there. So if they want to have a break between songs or, you know, get a little bit of fresh air, they can go and sit out on the balcony and sort of, you know, maybe, you know, have a 
you know, have a soft drink and sit out by the fire, which is really, really cool. Then if we go across here, there is just this kind of chill out room. So it's like a mini kitchen in there. There's a TV, there's some guitars in there if they want to have a bit of a jam. But it leads into my favorite part of the house, which is the recording studio. So I have put the computer in there with the doors. So it looks like um, there's like glass panelling between um, well I guess there is with the doors but glass panelling between the actual recording booth and the actual sound stage where um, all of the instruments are and when they play the instruments and record their records which I think is so cool I love that we can do this now with the new update and put doors next to each other and when I figured out that I could do that oh my god I just got so excited it was crazy um, and then I've got the instrument instruments in here so I tried to make them as simple as possible I put the rugs down because I don't know if you guys have seen recording studios before but there's always heaps of rugs and carpet and stuff like that in recording studios because they absorb sound so they absorb sort of like the echoes um, and the the unwanted sound so that you get a really pure sound coming from the instruments and from you know the vocalist so that's why I put the rugs down so it's as authentic as I possibly could make it um, in regards to to being an actual sound sound studio so that's oh, I just love that so much and then I thought you know, you've practiced over here, you practice, then you go in and you kind of, you chill out for a second, then you go record a song. And then what better way to hear the song than in your own little, you know, dance club, which is across the way here. Um, now, this is what it looks like at daytime, but I actually want to show you what it looks like at nighttime. So bear with me two seconds. What I'm actually going to do is go into my inventory and I'm going to put a weather machine in there so that you guys can actually see what it looks like at nighttime. So there's one. Yeah, here we go. And now let's make it night time. So make it night. And then there you go, see? It looks really cool, I think. Just the lights there and if you've got your sim in there and, you know, they're dancing away. I put a, um, a photo on my Instagram of, of some of my sims dancing in the club and, um, you know, someone was serving Tendi Bar and I thought, oh, gosh, it just looks so cool. I think the spray paint in the background looks really kind of like a really hip, up-to-date bar and, um, you know, the music was playing. I really, really like it. Yeah, that's, that's great. So we'll make it day again. So we'll resume day nine. Day nine. Um, but yeah, so that's my variation on the Teen Idol Mansion. I didn't want to make this one too long because it is quite a big house. But um, I just, I love this new update. And I think, you know, looking at houses that you've already created, it's really it's kind of put a new spin on my houses because I did this house ages ago but I completely redid this top level here and obviously you know I put the walkway in here with the parents room and added the balconies and then on the bottom floor the patio and I you know changed up the outside a little bit but I think it's really worthwhile to buy the houses that um that the sims do create as opposed to just like uh, empty lots because sometimes they give you really good inspiration and when you delete uh, even if you don't like the house and you delete the room you get to keep all the inventory as well so that's how I you know get you know killer inventory because usually I'll buy houses that I like the furniture and then take the rooms and then the inventory goes in there and I can use them on different houses as well but I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was short and sweet but I think you know hopefully you got a good gist of what this house looks like I might really quickly put the roof on just before I go just so you guys can see what it looks like because I have done that in the last few videos so nothing too special but it is pretty cool I love these windows as well they're like a favorite of mine and it looks really cool to have the balconies out there too it really matches up I think but yeah so that's it so um guys if you really if you liked this video give it a thumbs up down the bottom there if you like this video as well and you want to see more like this subscribe to my channel because I'll be putting out more um you know hopefully one one or two every day and then finally I'll do some tutorials and um you know like how to make the pool and things like that coming um, later down the track follow me on Instagram my Instagram is at simsfreeplay underscore design heaven um and yeah I hope you guys have a really good day and thank you so much for watching